When thunder roars, go indoors. More than just a catchy rhyme, this sound advice could save your life if you're caught outside before or during a thunderstorm. Now that you're indoors, it's safe to go about your business as usual, right? Well, that's not exactly true. There are all kinds of safety rules out there about things that you should and shouldn't do during a storm, but which of those are actually true? It must be safe to use electronics during a storm as long as you have a surge protector. False. Surge protectors will do very little to safeguard you against a lightning strike. It's best to steer clear of any corded electronics, landline phones, computers, TVs, and appliances. And it's always a good idea to unplug these during a storm anyhow. I probably shouldn't be showering during a storm. This is actually true. In fact, the CDC advises against bathing, washing hands, or washing dishes during a storm. Any activities that put people in contact with plumbing or running water during a thunderstorm may increase the risk of electrocution. What if you're seeking shelter in your car? The rubber on your tires will help protect you from a lightning storm, right? Well, this is actually false. While rubber is an insulator of electricity, it won't protect you in a lightning storm. But your car can still be a safe place to shelter in a storm. But it's the car's metal that can provide protection, but only if you aren't touching metal. The rain has stopped, the sky is clear, and it's finally safe to go outdoors again, right? False. Environment and Climate Change Canada recommends you wait at least 30 minutes after the last rumble of thunder is heard before resuming your outdoor activities. Take note of these safety tips, stay weather aware, and you'll know just what to do the next time severe weather arrives at your door.